I think what sometimes is neglected is, of course, that there's a lot of existing infrastructure. And, and Minister, I mean, you have a lot of existing infrastructure in, in old uh, energy, which now will be depreciated at a very fast rate. And, and, you know, if we had done this early on and we'd have let those brown infrastructure run out and build others, now we have to do it because climate change is pressing. We waited, we procrastinated. And now it's to happen very quickly. So, frankly, in the transition phase, and I would make a big difference between the way towards having then clean energy, where everything runs clean on clean energy, I think that would be a, I don't want to exaggerate, a beautiful world, you know. Yes. But the transition, I think, will be tough. And I think sometimes that is a bit of a pet peeve of mine. I think we sometimes try to paste over it and, and pretend as if it's just new green jobs are being created and, oh, the rest, don't worry, we reconfigure it. We I think the transition uh, uh, may be tough and maybe politicians also at some point have to say, look, we want to have that goal mm -hmm. and maybe GDP growth the output that we measure will not go up. Maybe well-being will go up. We, we, I think we have to think about how, how we deal with the transition, which, as I said, I think will not necessarily be one that will bring GDP growth the way we measure it up.